20 hits in the first game, all singles. That's incredible. That was a visit to the mound right now, Paul Evans. 29th year as a pitching coach for Missouri State. Helped produce five first round picks in the last 15 years. Love spending time with Paul Evans. He, straight shooter. Talks about each guy and the makeup of each guy. He's a guy that he trusts his kids. He talked about yesterday with Coleman. He said, this young man will go compete. I know he will go out and compete. It. Coleman did not have, he's got a great fastball, folks. It was in the mid-90s, but he didn't have command of it. But he was able to compete and throw 132 pitches. His breaking ball was his out pitch yesterday, and he used it at least 40% of the time. And that approach really tied up this TCU offense for most of the game. Coach Schlossnagel told us during the game it was a completely different approach than they were ready for. So after the break, pitch one misses to Barzilli. He's got back-to-back -back hits coming in the second and third. This guy can get hot. He, he, he can be somebody that can really, he can carry a ball club by himself. Back to back breaking balls. Missed with both of them. Now fastball count. He has been better in the postseason. Barzilli was on the 27 team. Big 12 tournament team. High expectations coming into this year, though. Second team preseason All-American. Career started at Georgia Tech. It's ending right here in TCU. Ultimately, Senior hopes that this run comes to a close in Omaha. And this is almost now a pitch around scenario. With Juan Hanning coming up. You got a left-hander coming up. He would, I would think, have the green light here. Don't lay it in there. Four-pitch walk. Barzilli is aboard for the third time this evening. And it's going to set two on, two outs for Connor Wanhane. Are you miss with the two breaking balls? Then 2-0, you try to make that perfect pitch away. And at that point, I just, I feel like that uh, such an advantage for the hitter. Break maybe to, to walk him in that scenario. Now you got a lefty-lefty matchup. 0 for 2 for Juan Hanen. But you must point out that he dropped only the third sacrifice bunt of the year for this TCU team his first time off. Barking from the side here is <laughs> Missouri State not happy with that first pitch call the ball. Five in a row now from Doug Still. One Holland getting 294 against lefties this season. Strike one. Still's a grinder. He's one of those guys on the mound. Yes, he's given up eight hits and four runs in the game, but he's still out there grinding, trying to get out, he's trying to help his team everywhere he can. And that guy, Luke and Baker, helping his team emotionally, even though he's still wearing that sling, out for the season with an arm injury. Good to see Luke and back, though. I wish him the best of luck and a rapid recovery. Big boy with a big spirit. One one delivery up the middle. Rivatera high nine. hop on him, able to stay with it, get the out over at first base. We're going to talk to Coach Lashnagel when we return. Art. It can be sculpted in beautiful details, are painted in luxurious strokes. 
and in rare cases. Both. Today we're going to be making a bundt cake. Cake it and bake it. We gotta put all the ingredients in a bowl, pour in some seven up. Comes out looking like this. Check it out. I got a name for this one. Bubble Bunt Cake. Welcome back to Fort Worth. TCU leads Missouri State 4-1. to one. We now welcome in the Horn Frogs head coach, Jim Schlossnagel. Coach, we saw Evan do it again. Simply put, what does he mean to this team? <laughs> he's the heart and soul of our club, and, and honestly, he has been for three years. It's, uh, he's been hitting third or fourth every day since his freshman year, catching pretty much every game. So he'll definitely go down as one of the all-time great players here. And I like Brian's attitude. He gave up the home run to start the ball game, but since then he's really settled in, mixed his pitches so well. Yeah, you know, his. Uh, we always say, you know, his last 50 pitches are normally better than his first 40 or 50. So uh, this this going to be a big inning here with a, a nine-hole hitter leading off. We need to try and get him out and not set the table for those horses in the middle. <laughs> They are hosses, definitely. Coach, we appreciate the time. No doubt. Thank you, guys. So we're in a critical inning, according to the head coach for Brian Howard. Interesting, though, how they say those next 50 pitches, those are the better stretch for Brian Howard. Well, as most big men, when you go back to and good pitchers, if you don't get them early, you don't get them at all. <laughs> And Why is that? Because they they start to get into a rhythm. Uh, their release point becomes something that they can repeat on a regular basis. Rivera to Warner for the first out. But I like his mix. Early in the game, he gave up the leadoff home run of the game. But since then, he's used the fastball, 